Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is Layout Templates, a brand new way to design things like reusable navigations, footers, banners and more across hundreds of pages. Plus, this feature unlocks entirely new types of navigation patterns. So let's have a look. Here I have a navigation component and I want to start adding this to my site. So I'll start with the home page. I'll set the position to fixed and I'll make sure that all the layout settings here are correct. Then I can give this a preview. And in the preview, I see that my navigation is indeed properly fixed to the top. So I am happy and I now want to add this navigation to all of my pages. This usually means copy and pasting it across all of my pages. But this doesn't really scale, especially if you have hundreds of them. And anytime I want to change the positioning or sizing of my components, I need to redo that across all pages. This is where layout templates come in. Instead of copy and pasting, I'll right click and I'll create a new layout template. Here we can give it a name. This model also tells us to how many pages our layout template will be applied. Because we're creating it from the home page, and because we don't have any existing layout templates in this project just yet, it will be applied to all pages. This is the new layout template canvas. It looks and behaves much like a real page. These layout templates also appear in the assets panel. And this is another way to create new templates from scratch or folders to organize your templates. In the middle here, you'll see a placeholder that represents your actual page content and we can move this around and design elements like navigations, footers and banners around it. Think of it like a boilerplate for your entire website. So now if I go back to look at a couple of my subpages, I can see that all of these suddenly have my navigation with the exact same layout settings. So in one click, I made sure that my entire website has a consistent navigation. And if I go ahead and select the desktop breakpoint, you'll also see that the property panel has been greatly simplified. This is because now the layout properties are actually inherited from the layout template. This means that layout templates are also a great way to ensure your website has consistent gap, padding and other styles like consistent cursors, for example. Now, these layout templates are also very easy to edit. Let's say we want to add a footer to all of our pages in an instant. I'll head over to my assets panel and I can simply drag and drop my footer directly onto the template. I already had padding bottom set to zero. So the only thing I want to do is set the width to fill. Now let's check out some of the sub pages. And now when I scroll to the bottom of my home page, I can see it properly gets the footer appended to the existing design. And all the links here are working. I can switch to different sub pages to check out that they indeed also get the new footer. So this is the magic of layout templates. It makes it much easier to manage and create sites at a much larger scale, making sure that you do not have to repeat yourself and giving you the confidence that your navigations will be consistent and functional across all of your pages. But as I mentioned earlier, layout templates also unlock all new types of navigations. Let me show you. In this navigation, I added a little links component with a bunch of simple variants and a backdrop that follows the active item. Layout templates are quite similar to components in that they support variables and we can use variables to access these inner variants. So in the layout template, I'll assign a variable to this active property, giving me access to the active state from any given page. Now it's key to note that what I'm doing is optional. I could have also used link styles to highlight the current page in a single click. But doing this, which is essentially just using variants and assigning those per page, 
allows me to animate active states between different pages. This, for the first time ever, unlocks all new types of navigations and interactions in Framer. Because elements within my layout templates do not remount when you switch pages. In other words, they're kind of just there as you switch pages. They don't have to reload. Suddenly unlocking things like these active state animations between pages. Plus things like fixed elements, continuous animations, exit animations and more. But before we look at those, let's have a look at managing multiple templates within a single project. Let's say we want to add some docs to our website. These docs need a sidebar, so our existing layout template doesn't really cut it. So I've set up a second layout template called docs, and it has a top bar, a sidebar, and a footer. And then all the content is positioned on the right hand side. To now override our existing layout template, I can simply head over to the property panel and select it from the layout dropdown. And as I switch between these, you can see how my page layout and the content adapts. And as we hover over our page, outlines indicate which elements are part of the layout template and which elements we can freely edit here. And we can also double click on any of these elements that are part of the template to instantly start editing. So you can create multiple layout templates per project and pick specific pages and sub pages to override the main one. So now let's give this one a preview. Elements like sidebars within layout templates become inherently stateful because they do not have to reload or remount across pages. Any section here that I expand or collapse will stay as is when we switch pages instead of resetting to its original variant. This is a huge unlock for documentation websites where as a visitor, you can influence and control the information density as you browse the content. Now, in closing, I want to briefly mention a few of the new navigational patterns this feature unlocks. First, sites that feel like apps. By combining layout animations with fixed elements and page effects, you can craft uniquely interactive websites. Second, navigations with exit animations. When switching pages, instead of your navigation instantly jumping back to its default state, you can have it gently animate back to its original design. Something you rarely see today as it's impossible to achieve in any other tool. Third, continuous animations. Elements part of a layout template can be infinitely animating without any jumps as you navigate around your site. And fourth, stateful elements. Like we looked at earlier in the video, components like sidebars that you can expand and collapse can now do so freely without switching back to its original variant when you switch pages extremely useful for things like documentation websites. And that's it for this video. We're very excited about layout templates and what it means for designing sites at scale directly in Framer. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.